my gosh, breakfast was so easy today because we had leftover pancakes from the other day, a little leftover bacon. So all I did was heat them back up and I'm gonna serve them with some hard boiled eggs, some blueberries and ta-da, homemade breakfast that I didn't even have to make today because I already made it once. So I've only got two ready to eat right now. So one with syrup, my other one right here does not like syrup. She will not eat syrup on anything. But there's our breakfast this morning. Sourdough pancakes I made the other day, bacon I made the other day, eggs, blueberries, and an apple. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to, I don't even know what day it is anymore. I really don't. What is today, Ashlyn? Wednesday? Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It feels like a Thursday, but it's Wednesday today. Um, but anyway, we're in the middle of school, but we are excited for our burrito bowls. So we're gonna do lunch in just a minute. We're gonna have this cilantro lime rice. I'm gonna saute up onions and peppers and then make our toppings and things. We have black beans too. Oh, I need to heat those up. We have some corn I need to heat up. Um, and it's gonna be so yummy. And I think the little kids will probably just have leftover tacos. So um, I'm getting ready to do that. I have my cast iron pan heating up. It's been heating up for a few minutes, so it's about ready. So I just need to get everything chopped up, sliced up, and start sauteing them, and then get everything else heated up. I completely forgot about the black beans and corn a second ago, until a second ago. So I need to get all that taken care of, and Ashlyn and I are gonna have that for lunch. If any of the other kids want it, they can have it, but I highly doubt that they're gonna want it. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna pull out the taco meat and heat that up for them, um, and just make them tacos. So I'll ask them, but I guarantee that they are not gonna eat this. So our pepper's already sliced up, which is nice. I'm gonna use this red onion because I still have it out from last night. So I'm just gonna saute this up, but I'm also gonna leave a little bit raw for the top of mine. Because I like raw red onion on my taco stuff. All right, so we're just gonna saute these up till they're soft. And I need to cut up some avocado for toppings, for tacos, and for these. I'm just gonna put salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder on these. wants them besides us so want some black beans you want black or blueberries yeah. some corn yeah I'll put some peppers and onions and then toppings so I'm gonna put where do I put the cheese do you want cheese on yours, Ash? No. No? Do you want sour cream? And then you can grab your toppings right there. This good. Here's Everly's. This is Everly's lunch. All right, there's lunch today. Layla's having a peanut butter and jelly with some blueberries. Definitely time to start making some dinner. I just turned my oven on to preheat to 350. We're gonna make some no peak chicken. I have four chicken breasts here that I am seasoning just with salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. So it's not in the recipe. It doesn't say to season them, but I don't really want uncooked. I mean, uncooked. Well, I don't want uncooked meat either, but unseasoned meat. So I'm gonna season both sides of this real quick. Okay, so that's just that one side and then We'll flip and season the other side. Oh, I never got out the rice. I need to go get out the rice too. I love this recipe because it is so simple. So simple. But also so flavorful. So we're gonna do two cups of uncooked white rice. And it's a one dish meal and you put it all in here and everything, I love it. Okay, now you would use one can of cream of chicken, one can of cream of mushroom. I guess, I think they're like 10 ounce cans. I have two homemade ones. And since the pint's a little bit bigger than 10 ounce cans, and this is a little bit smaller, I'm just gonna mix. I have one cream of chicken, one cream of mushroom. And then one Lipton onion packet.
And then two cups of chicken broth. I actually have beef bone broth here. And then since that was only like one and a half cups, I have a little half cup of water here. And just whisk all this together. And then add four chicken breasts on top. And now we're gonna cover with foil. And you bake for an hour and 15 minutes. And that's it, it's so simple so flavorful. All right, so let's open this without burning our hands. So that's what it looks like. It always comes out so good. Just like, just like I'm saying, so flavorful. All right, here's dinner tonight. No peak chicken and rice. It was stuffing and green beans. And I only got half a piece of chicken just because, I don't know, I'm just only in the mood for about half a piece. Let's see, you know what time it is now. Dinner's cleaned up, kitchen's clean and closed for the night. So I'm gonna end our video. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.